It's Monday during the season of Thy Kingdom Come and this is morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation. Pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 93 The Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord has put on his glory and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mightier. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, for ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of Ezekiel. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you, and put a new spirit within you, and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. We're reading from 1 John chapter 2, starting at verse 18. Children, it is the last hour. As you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. From this we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But by going out, they made it plain that none of them belongs to us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and all of you have knowledge. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it. And you know that no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar but the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Everyone who confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he has promised us, eternal life. I write these things to you concerning those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you received from him abides in you, and so you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and is true and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, so that when he is revealed, we may have confidence and not be put to shame before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, 
you may be sure that everyone who does right has been born of him. Here ends the reading. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. The Benedictus. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high and has let, let captivity captive. Alleluia. And so we pray. Almighty God, during this time of thy kingdom come, we pray that your kingdom will reign in our hearts. Lord, we pray that you would draw us closer to you day by day, that you would strengthen and grow our faith and our convictions in you. And Lord, we pray that you would give us strength and courage to share the gospel message with those that we meet. Father God, we pray this morning for those stories making news headlines from around our world. We pray for our economy. We pray for those individuals and families who are dealing with financial hardships. We pray in our own country for children who are being raised below the poverty line. And Father, we pray across the world for those countries and individuals who are struggling with financial hardship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love, 
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.